The Indonesian Maritime Security Agency Indonesian, Baden Keamanan Laut Republik Indonesia, BAKAMLA, is a maritime patrol and rescue agency of the Republic of Indonesia. BAKAMLA is a non-ministerial government institution which reports directly to the President through Coordinating Ministry for Political, Legal, and Security Affairs. BAKAMLA's duty is to conduct security and safety patrols in the territorial waters of Indonesia and the jurisdiction of Indonesia. Previously BAKAMLA was a non-structural institution called the Coordinating Agency for the Security of the Republic of Indonesia Indonesian, Baden Koordinasi Keamanan Laut Republik Indonesia, Bakorkamla. The agency is not part or associated with the Indonesian National Armed Forces, although its top-ranking leadership are hand-picked from the Indonesian Navy. BAKAMLA and the Indonesian Navy, however, often conduct exercises and joint operation together. While during search and rescue operations, BAKAMLA also conduct joint operations with the National Search and Rescue Agency. President Joko Widodo officially announced the establishment of BAKAMLA to coincide with the 2014 Nusantara Day celebration held in Kotaburu, South Kalimantan. During the occasion, the president mentioned that BAKAMLA would be coordinated by the Coordinating Minister for Politics, Law and Security. Meanwhile, in the management and utilization of marine resources, Coordinating Minister for Political and Security Affairs would coordinate with the Coordinating Minister for the Ministry of Maritime Affairs. BAKAMLA is not associated with the Indonesia Sea and Coast Guard, Indonesian, Kesatuan Penhagan Laut Dan Pantai Indonesia, KPLP. While the former is under the jurisdiction of the Coordinating Ministry for Political, Legal, and Security Affairs, the latter is under the jurisdiction of the Ministry of Transportation. Both of them however has similar roles and functions. History Maritime Security Coordinating Board or Baden Koordinasi Keamanan Laut initially had been formed in 1972 through a joint decree of the Minister of Defense and Security, Commander of the Armed Forces, Ministry of Communications, Ministry of Finance, Minister of Justice and Attorney General, No KEP, B. 45, 12, 1972, SK, 901, M. 1972, KEP.779, MK, 3, 12 1900 170 seconds, JS8, 72 over 1, KEP 085, J, A, 12 1970 seconds on the establishment of Marine Safety Coordinating Board and the Joint Command Operations Marine Safety. Due to changes on governance and development of the strategic environment today, Maritime Security Coordinating Board requires refreshment to improve coordination among various government agencies in the field of maritime security. Hence, Coordinating Minister for Political and Security Affairs issued decree, no KEP.05, Menko, Pokum, 2 2003, of establishment of a working group development planning security and law enforcement at sea. And through a series of seminars and cross-sectoral coordination meeting, then on the 29th of December 2005, it was determined the Presidential Regulation Number no. 81 Year 2005 on Maritime Security Coordinating Board Baden Koordinasi Keamanan Laut Bakorkamla as the legal basis of the Maritime Security Coordinating Board. Following the enactment of Law No. 32 Year 2014 concerning the Marine, Bakorkamla officially renamed the Maritime Security Agency or Baden Kamananan Laut Legal basis for BAKAMLA was then reinforced by the issuance of Presidential Regulation No. 178 of 2014 on Maritime Security Agency. Function. The task of BAKAMLA is to conduct security and safety patrols in the territorial waters of Indonesia and the jurisdiction of Indonesia. Establish national policies in the field of security and safety in the territorial waters of Indonesia and the jurisdiction of Indonesia. Organize security and safety early warning systems in Indonesian waters and jurisdiction areas. Carry out safeguards, supervision, prevention and prosecution of law violations in the territorial waters of Indonesia and the jurisdiction of Indonesia. Coordinate and monitor the execution of water patrol with relevant agencies. 
Provide technical and operational support to related institutions. Provide search and rescue assistance in the territorial waters of Indonesia and the territory of Indonesian jurisdiction, according to Presidential Regulation No. 178 of 2014 on Maritime Security Agency, BAKAMLA has the authority to, a. conduct an immediate pursuit, b. dismiss, examine, arrest, carry, and deliver vessels to relevant authorities for further legal process execution, and c. synergize the information system of security and safety in the territorial waters of Indonesia and the jurisdiction of Indonesia. <laughs> Vision and mission To be professional and trustworthy maritime security agency in both national and international maritime community to support the creation of a sovereign, independent and personality based on mutual cooperation. To create national and international maritime security capable of maintaining security and safety in the territorial waters of Indonesia and the jurisdiction of Indonesia and reflecting the personality of Indonesia as an archipelago country. To protect sovereignty of Indonesia, independent and strengthen identity as a maritime country through BAKAMLA as the guardian of the world maritime axis. The realization of developing Indonesia into an independent maritime nation, strong forward and based on the national interest. Organization According to Presidential Decree No. 178-2014, the organization structure of the BAKAMLA comprises the following components Head of BAKAMLA Law Enforcement Unit Inspectorate Task Forces Secretary of BAKAMLA Bureau of Planning and Organization Bureau of General Affairs Bureau of Infrastructure Deputy of Information, Law and Cooperation Directorate of Data and Information Directorate of Law Directorate of Cooperation Deputy of Operation and Training Directorate of Naval Operation Directorate of Naval Aviation Operation Directorate of Training Deputy of Policy and Strategy Directorate of Marine Security Policy Directorate of Marine Security Strategy Directorate of Marine Security Research and Development Head of Western Maritime Zone Office Head of Central Maritime Zone Office Head of Eastern Maritime Zone Office Topic Academy The Marine Safety and Security Academy Indonesian, Akademi Keselamatan Dan Kayamanan Laut, AKKL is the main training institute for BAKAMLA candidates. The academy is located within the area of Naval Doctrine, Education, and Training Development Command Kodikladal, Bumamoro, Surabaya. The AKKL Marine Safety and Security Academy is a breakthrough of the Marine Security Agency in preparing qualified human resources in the field of marine security and marine education for three, three years. AKKL is paramilitary academy and its graduates will get diploma certificate. The establishment of AAKL is due to cooperation between BAKAMLA and the Navy. AKKL's campus is located inside the Kodiklital for dormitory and classroom, and the Early Warning System Skill Laboratory is located at Naval Academy AAL Bumi Moro, Moro Krembongan, Surabaya. The requirements to become AKKL cadets are as follows, male with age 22 years or below, high school graduate, physically and mentally fit, proven to have good behavior and passed the selection test. Topic. Operational areas The operational area of BAKAMLA is the Indonesian Maritime Zone which is divided into three Maritime Zone Western Maritime Zone Zona Maritime Barat headquartered in Batam, Riau Islands. This Maritime Zone oversees areas of Western Indonesia such as the islands of Java, Sumatra and Kalimantan. Central Maritime Zone Zona Maritime Tenga headquartered in Manado, North Sulawesi. This maritime zone oversees areas of central Indonesia such as Sulawesi and the Lesser Sunda Islands. 
Eastern Maritime Zone Zona Maritime Timur, headquartered in Ambon, Maluku. This maritime zone oversees areas of eastern Indonesia such as Maluku and Papua. In the future, BAKAMLA will increase the base or maritime zone spread over Indonesian waters by building seven more maritime zones to support the marine security sector. Seven maritime zones to be built in North Sumatra, West Sumatra, Silakap, Makassar, Balakpapan, Natuna, Sarang, and Marauke. Each maritime base will have long-range radar stations and satellites to support operations. In addition, it will also be equipped with surveillance equipment and information from the satellite, which can monitor anyone entering Indonesian waters. Equipments <inaudible> 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 All its vessels built by Indonesian or foreign firm. Topic: Weaponry. BAKAMLA has been issued some light weaponry, such as AK-47, to be used in times of emergency, such as when BAKAMLA personnel are threatened or under attack. As BAKAMLA is not part of the Indonesian National Armed Forces and have different roles and functions, they are not issued with heavy weaponry. Topic: <laughs> Rank structure. The BAKAMLA uses a similar ranking system with Indonesian Navy. The difference between Navy and BAKAMLA rank are the usage of special title BAKAMLA uses special title of Maritime for every personnel, while Navy uses TNI for high-ranking officer and branch, core abbreviation for other officer and enlisted personnel and BAKAMLA does not have a rank higher than a vice admiral as vice admiral is the rank of the head of the agency. Despite similarity on the title, BAKAMLA uses different insignia. Indonesian National Armed Forces personnel who are assigned to BAKAMLA are allowed to keep his, her military rank and in the case of the Navy, specialty rating. Note, BAKAMLA is not part of Indonesian National Armed Forces and Indonesia is not a member of NATO, so there is not an official equivalence between BAKAMLA ranks and those defined by NATO. The displayed parallel is approximate and for illustration purposes only. <laughs> <laughs> 